Welcome to uh, Dazcat Artemis Expedition Boat. Quite extraordinary little boat we've just uh, launched here. Tom, who's a uh, wheelchair bound guy. So uh, the boat is all about him and getting him on the ocean. All good? All right. Yeah, yeah. So we've got internal steering position. We can see see the world. We've got some lovely cameras at the top of the mast facing front and backwards. Engine controls, windscreen wiper, and then we've got sail controls here. So we can furl the genoa in and out, the staysail, and then we've got a self-tacking jibble staysail which has got a traveller control on it. And we've got three winches, one on the port, one on starboard, one in the middle. So we can control all the sail from here with the cameras, we can see what's going on. Pretty usual array of um, marine equipment. Um, over here we've got our Murphy screen. State of batteries here, we've got a, a big lithium bank, let's say eight, eight kilowatt of lithium linked to two and a half kilowatt of solar on the roof. So we can see our state of battery charge, fuel levels, and then this is where we start turning lights on and off and systems. Um, anchor light here with a mimic. Standard desk cap feature these days. We've got um, a window here that we can crack open and it's got an electric ram and also a seat here so Tom can get out the front of the boat. This isn't quite big enough to get the wheelchair access around the decks. Uh, we've also got a big um, opening hatch here. Let, let the outside in. Table drops down into a bed so you can accommodate more people. Down in the porthole here, we've got uh, berthing for four, so we can squeeze the family down there. Good storage underneath the bunks and things. I mean, it's still early days for this boat, so we're still wearing a bit of clutter at the moment, uh, finding homes for things. Down into the uh, starboard hull, we've got a uh, separate suite there, so double berth, good storage, and uh, a head forwards shower, wet room there. In here, we've got you know good. Good access to systems, controllers and converters, also pilots. Engine is underneath this bunk here, a Yamaha 3YM30s, so a fairly modest engine, but we're really pleased how things are going at the moment, both under motor and sail. And back up to the galley area, where we've got a lovely worktop, induction hob uh, with a silicon mat and that's, that's working well. Bin and storage pans and then we've got the herb garden, one of Darren's ideas. Tom's just started growing some uh, some herbs here, over to microwave and then we've got the Frigga boat um, fridge and uh, freezer here. So good storage. And then to Tom's cabin, we've got a comfortable double bed there with uh, good storage underneath. It's just a pop-up bed. We've got access to a lot of the systems here, water maker. Yeah, the mixture of storage, a bit of fishing gear in there. Direct access to the engine underneath. We come through to the upstairs head, shower room, which kind of does what it needs to do. So we're on the aft deck of Artemis. We've got this uh, bimini covered area, which keeps the rain and the sun off. Good aft platform. I think you might have seen uh, Tom coming aboard on the ramp. Ramp here for chair access. Pop that over the side uh, before, so it can clip on either the side or the stern for different uh, berthing options. We've got uh, sail controls coming back to, again to a Lumar Revo winch. Spin lock clutches here to bring the sails down from above to here. And uh, this is the uh, controllable from inside or outside. We've got the cameras to look at as well to see what keep an eye on things. Then we've got Tom's Landing Craft here. We've got a couple of different um, buggies that fit in here. We've got a big off-road four-wheel drive one. So we've got a ramp that comes down so you can get on and off the beach and other, other places. Forwards here, we've got a, a drop-in washboard. It fills this gap so once we're off out at sea, we can close this down, make the cockpit feel more secure and stop um, 
water, you know, charge, charging in if we're in rough conditions. Little lockers here. We've actually got a dive compressor hooked up to this, so um, we can charge, charge dive bottles, store those. But we've also got a, a little sort of crane lift, so we can bring someone out of the water, we can bring the buggy out of the tender, and then this will wheel forwards and we can get the buggy straight inside the cabin. Winch control here, so this is our mid winch, a Revo 50. So we've got in and out buttons here to rotate it. Camera, usual B&G stuff. We've got charts and this boat's equipped with 3D sonar. So we can see the actual lay of the land underneath the boat. We've got 3D scanner and chirp side scan. Very functioning for the, for the dive side of things. Yep. All in all, for its place to be. Got an electric start outboard here and trim, so coming into the beach should be easy, you know, Tom to operate. We've had a couple of weeks, we've been out a few times, and uh, so far, so good. So we're getting ready to go to Scotland tomorrow. I would say I'm very happy. Yeah.